Hey, what's going on guys? It's Swarizy here, back at you with another Market Mondays. Today we'll be going over why we should be looking at crypto at these particular levels this week. Alright, first up we have Bitcoin on the 24 hour time frame and let's zoom in to see what we we're looking for within this last week. Uh, we did say that we wanted to see the touch of our 23957 which we ended up getting and then seeing if we were going to get the pullback and how far that pullback was going to get was ideally towards our uh, multi-month trend line plus our multi-month level at 21708 uh, right now we can see we did have a nice little reject off of that we are trying to solidify some type of base in this little zone that we have here um, notice if we happen to break right below that then we would be range bound for another move down but as of right now, we are catching our footing right around that 21.610 on Bitcoin, which also happened to be the last high of the 100% move as well. So a pretty solid support zone as of right now and still considered in trend since technically this is still holding very particular levels, our monthly zone and our multi-month trend even though currently we are beneath that um, we are looking for multiple candlesticks to close either above or beneath this level with conviction so getting true confirmation is going to be the key in order for us to see which direction Bitcoin is actually really going to want to go are we going to stay in a solidified sideways state where we can actually get a true breakout of a smaller range that we're playing within or do we get really aggressive to the downside to take us to 19666? Um, there's a few uh, options that can kind of happen here, but ideally one main thing that we are going to be looking at is going to be the volume that's going to be coming in. Ideally, again, we are near a few monthlies, near a multi-month trend line, plus a monthly level as well, plus what was a breakout of 100% range, which is also considered a support zone as of right now. So what we are looking for is ideally some type of retest to the upside to see can we even test our monthly level one more time? If this is the case, then ideally trying to get the true breakout of that zone. If we cannot get the breakout of that zone, then ideally looking for a rejection to solidify this as a bigger range for a bigger breakout move in the near future. So uh, right now, this is a very key level for Bitcoin to pretty much pick a direction of how it wants to continue this trend or if it truly just wants to reverse this trend. So solidifying this monthly level is very key. 21708 is going to be the level we're going to be looking at for this upcoming week and looking for again the ideal bounce up and how far we bounce up is going to give us a real projection on how far we can actually go with this trend that we are currently in or at least testing right now so um, ideally looking at this 21708 and seeing multiple candlesticks closing above or below that zone and ideally trying to take that to the next monthly level depending on the volume and the candle formation closes so that's going to be it on Bitcoin this week all right, next up we got Ethereum, but before we jump into Ethereum, if you haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so as it really helps the channel grow. Also, make sure to turn on those notification buttons in order to be notified whenever we have any new videos being dropped. All right, next up we have Ethereum on the 24 hour time frame, and pretty much Ethereum did the same thing as Bitcoin, but we were in a tighter range with Ethereum, and we can see we touched our 1700 level, got our pullback right to our uh, trend line ended up getting the snap of that trend line and are currently trying to test our monthly level so right now currently with ethereum the main zone that i'd be looking at is this main portion right here these two arrows that we're playing within is pretty much a range that we're playing within since uh, the last week of january 
so pretty much about three weeks worth of price action that's been uh, accumulating here and what what do we say all the time whenever we break out of a range we're looking for a hundred percent of that move and notice when we snap that trend line notice where a hundred percent happens to kind of take us right near this 1420 zone so currently what we're looking for is this pull to our monthly level and still trying to see if we can solidify this as a true base to wrap this back around to see what is going to be our next main resistance above us which is likely going to be this zone that we just cracked so trying to see if this 1420 can be a solidified uh, support zone uh, because notice that is also where another 100% break was just kind of like with uh, Bitcoin like we were watching earlier um, we have this bounce zone that we're kind of waiting to kind of get to uh, as we speak so currently uh, ETH has broken that uh, multi-month trend but does not mean that we're fully out of that trend as of yet we're getting a healthy pullback trying to hold this monthly level is going to be very, going to be very key if we can hold this 1420 level looking to try to re bounce this back up again to, to a zone where we had just happened to break out of so trying to take that back up to around that 1550 area uh, 1600 dollar zone is going to be very key but if it does not have enough volume or if it does not have enough buyers coming in at this monthly zone, then we will get the continuation to that downside to solidify us in an even bigger range from about 1700 to about 1100 itself. So currently, again, looking to see how this 1420 is going to hold up and going to look for that rebounce uh, to the upside. But again, seeing how far we get that bounce up is going to be very telling for the next move uh, in crypto. So definitely making sure that you're drawing your trend lines and making sure that you're watching these candle closes in particular. Um, also, we must be informed about the volume that's coming in. If we start getting volume that starts coming in at that 1420 level, then we can start solidifying that as a support zone to start. But if we do not happen to get true volume to come in, then we can see that be pretty much a yield zone. So ideally, making sure that you're drawing your trend lines and watching out for these monthly levels and making sure that we have a plan set for when we get to near these levels because we will see some type of volatility when we do get to these levels as we have seen before. So that's going to be the breakdown on ETH and you guys have a good one. I will catch you on next week's Market Mondays.